let's take a minute down here to look at classical normal striated or skeletal uh, voluntary muscle. Notice that if you cut the fibers uh, almost perfectly longitudinally, you will get a very, very beautiful idea for how nicely striated they are. And you can also see the nuclei are at the periphery. If, on the other hand, you cut the fibers completely cross-section, you could even see how more reliably how the nuclei are all at the periphery. But unfortunately, you don't see the striations. This is classical textbook striated muscle. It almost behaves like nerve, and like nerve cells, I don't believe it has a spindle apparatus, so it does not divide. You don't, uh, the skeletal muscle cells you're born with are the ones you die with. They don't multiply. Nevertheless, if you take their precursor cells uh, before they differentiate into the mature skeletal muscle, those can be influenced by neoplastic factors. They can multiply. They can proliferate. They can even form malignant tumors. And this is a malignant tumor of skeletal muscle precursors called an alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma. Rhabdo meaning strided muscle. Unfortunately, I can't show you at all how this resembles a normal skeletal muscle, so I'm not going to try, but let's uh, look at the whole thing anyway. Let's describe the tumor rather than read the textbook. Let's use our own language. You could see it's widely invasive. You could see that there's fibrous tissue uh, not only in large areas, but in some areas there almost looks like there is small nests of fibrous tissue to give this somewhat of a papillary appearance. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dr. Minarsik, papillary tumors can only be adenocarcinomas, and adenocarcinomas are epithelial cells. So how can connective tissue cells like muscle form papilla? Well, they are. That's all that I could say. Also notice that uh, not only do these look like papilla, and every little central core has uh, a blood vessel, but the tumor cells are more prominently around them. The tumor cells are also forming little glands, and even though you can't talk of non-epithelial cells forming glands, so let's not call it a gland. Let's call it an alveolus. And that's why this is called an alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma. If this was a gland, if this was an epithelial derived tumor, you call that a gland, and maybe even that a gland, without even blinking your eyelids, you would call these papilla without even blinking your eyelids. But uh, because this is a sarcoma, these little spaces here lined by tumor cells, which look epithelial but are not, they're sarcoma. This is. Um, called an alveolus. This is a tumor. It's very, very, very serious. It's very, very fatal. It's often found in younger women, and um, they often don't survive it at all. Thank you very much.